Hmm? Oh. Oasis X. Oh, nice. Basically, AI and software for all types of growers. Really? Okay. Three environments here that we're setting up. We've got the hydroponics, deep water culture. Mm -hmm. We've got some lentils growing. And we've got the horticultural setup with the okay. cycling over there. Um, and then we've got this. This, this box of wheat, actually. This is okay. Cool. So I got the, yeah, we got a field in a box there. So nice. Some, uh, oh, yeah, really? so oh, they're this mushrooms? This is actually a climate exhibit as well. So these oh, roots have, are inoculated with giant puffball mycelium. Oh, so that's mycelium, so, okay. Yeah, well, this, it's, it's covered in mycelium. Oh, my covered, yeah, yeah. Um, and basically, I've got controls as well. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Because oh, okay, I, I was yeah. like, that doesn't quite look right. And so, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. With this, uh, the mycorrhizal fungi actually exchange carbon for mm -hmm. nutrients with the plant, and so they excrete atmospheric carbon into the soil as glomalin, which actually okay. makes a uh, very, very good. This very is actually stuff. along the lines of something I've been planning to try because, um, so I've kind of want, been wanting to make a uh, like a, a kitchen garden. Oh yeah. Kind of like I'm almost, maybe like a bit a bit sealed up to where like gnats and stuff don't find a way in, yeah. but. Um, not not totally sealed where it dies, but um, but yeah, I've, I've been thinking about using like like LEDs and stuff to, to grow my own food. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, I mean we are actually that's kind of part of our purpose. So right now we usually sell, sell to small businesses. Yeah. But what we're trying to do is build this massive network of people who just want to basically grow their own food, mm -hmm. save money, right. do a little bit for the environment. And so because of that, we're going to be releasing this app soon. That's going to be okay. essentially like a, a an all in one year planning, you've got organizing, you've got diagnosis for pictures, right. like you snap the plant and tells you what's wrong, and oh, gives wow. you the idea of the plant. We actually have pretty... that set up. Mm -hmm. yeah, We're going to demo pretty... it once we get the tech set up. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll come by later and yeah, poke yeah, around. Course, but, yeah. I mean, yeah, that's what we're working on. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I have one question. Yeah. So, the plants need nutrients to grow from. Where do you get those nutrients from? Do you compost or do you have yeah. something in mind? So okay. this is basically all compost. Okay. Um, here, this is an entirely... Um, this composted garden. Okay. That can you can you grow it. quite a few times from the same compost, or do, or does or does it suck the nutrients out after a while? The plant will always suck the nutrients out, depending on what kind of plant it is and what kind of requirements it has. Mm -hmm. uh, however, with some plants, notably legumes, they they some plants put nutrients back into the soil, right? Okay. So this is why farmers do crop rotation. Yeah. And it's also why we have people start cover cropping. So this mm -hmm. is winter wheat. Okay. And this is an example of a cover crop, which is yeah. used to keep the soil healthy, retain moisture, keep carbon in the ground, uh, you know, retain nutrients just to make mm -hmm. it healthier, yeah. more resilient, more drought-resistant plants, yep. you know. Um, so whenever somebody, whenever somebody, let's say they have this in uh, wherever they're going to have it, like if they yeah. have it in their basement or their, their back garden or whatever. So whenever they, uh, like, how would you, like, rotate out? Like put add new compost in, or would you just like rotate it every every so summer or something like that? This uh, thing actually here, what we're using is essentially just organic liquid fertilizers. Okay. Right. So this is kelp juice. So you're not so you're not nitrogen. always adding stuff back in. You're using liquids. Well, we have sensors to measure the, the acidity. And oh, okay. Total dissolved solids, and that tells you how often you need to put it back. Oh, so in. so you can you can judge it based on that. Yeah, that's the whole point of our platform. Okay. It delivers you that information mm -hmm. to make it like brainless, basically. Okay. Well, not cool. Brainless isn't the right word, but. A lot yeah, yeah. Whole, whole a lot more of what you want to know yeah. about exactly, it. Yeah. yeah, being exactly. able to see the invisible. Yeah, it, it, exactly. It's like if let's say you want to start like growing a significant amount of produce to either you're for a business, mm -hmm. you're a business, and you want to be launching a farm, you're growing yeah. a farm, or you have your own in garden, like so many people. Do. Yeah, yeah. Now the average garden yields on average six hundred dollars per year, and it's estimated that more than there are more people engaged in gardening right now than there are with college degrees in the mm -hmm. U.S., right? So there's obviously like an opportunity for just an enormous portion of the population to grow a lot more of their own food. I and mean, what we just want to do is like just make it easier. So now I'm going to ask on the other side of this, the energy usage. So my obsession is solar power. My, my, my idea was to see like, okay, if I have a 100 watt panel, what, how many plants can I grow from that? Yeah. Have you, uh, do you know much about like the energy usage and being able to like, like maximize how much how much growth you get from energy usage from the LEDs. Yeah, exactly. You guys so, have been looking into that too? I mean, every LED, depending on your system, is gonna have its own wattage, mm -hmm. right? And that's gonna tell you exactly like how much power it's consuming. And actually, you know, at the moment, uh, because with a lot of the big vertical, 
like like a corporate vertical farms yeah. in the East Coast, they're actually not more sustainable than produce shipped from California, even with the emissions due to transportation, mm -hmm. just mostly because California has a mix of cleaner energy sources. So yeah. that's one thing, that is one thing a lot of people don't realize mm -hmm. about hydroponics, um, or just agriculture in general, is you can't yeah. move everything inside and just replace yeah. the, everything. It, it, yeah. When, you, when you really start looking into it, it gets really difficult. Yeah. But, um, so... So, to answer your question, though, mm -hmm. in terms of maximizing energy usage, if you have a thermostat, right, the typical way you're controlling that is it's really just a switch, right? Yeah. And what we have is essentially an actuator that accounts a for the Variable? Errors. Variable? Yes. Okay. Accounts for the errors between, you know, all, all the different metrics and uses only the minimum amount of okay. uh, power required yeah, to yeah. achieve a certain temperature. So let's say you Oh, set, you're getting signed up? Yeah. Nice. Let's say you set your temperature to 70 degrees, right? Yeah. Um, but it's 68, and so your 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 heater's going to turn it on. And once it hits seven, once it hits 68, it's not going to it's going to turn off. But the problem is you still have some ambient energy going in the mm -hmm. environment, so it's going to oscillate. And then once it yeah. dips below again, it's going to heat. So you're going to end up with this oscillating so temperature sine wave. And if you can guess that oscillation, mm -hmm. that wastes energy. So if you can have an algorithm, which we do, that just gently pulses it to lift up yeah. the temperature towards it and keeps it there, right? By taking into mm. account the uh, error, the rate of change of the air. Thermal the momentum. The air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right? So I've, I, I have a side project that is stalling because it's a, it's a liquid-fueled rocket engine, and there's a lot of momentum in things like that. There's, yeah. like, things that build up and pressures and stuff like that. And I definitely understand the complexity of, like, you have to make sure it doesn't just, like, get into some oscillation, and it has to, like, build it up smartly. That's definitely one of the things you have to worry about, right? building a liquid-fueled rocket engine. Yeah, yeah. I've ran into That's other issues. Of... Other issues are metals burning, but... Um, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, you will get inspired by October Sky. Just... Uh, when I was a little kid, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so, uh... Last question, what hardware are you, are you working on? Arduino, BeagleBoard, yeah. Raspberry Pi? Uh, runs on Raspberry Pi and okay. um, Arduino. Um, okay. Pretty much everything is in uh, Python, Rust, and Okay, okay. So, so, so it's pretty like move, anything, movable, yeah. okay. So I mean like right now, the way the typical setup we've got is it's a, it's a Raspberry oh, Pi or some mm -hmm. microprocessor uh, with a number of microcontroller minions okay. spread around, right? So you've got like the Arduino here, for example, it's gonna pipe some information here and then it's going to relay on to the Pi, which okay. is okay with the network. But you know, we are, are, are focused also on just breaking down yeah. right, to make it so that you can run the Arduino standalone. So Oasis Lite, that's like mm -hmm. another little thing we're going to release too. To just anyone who has an Arduino, just boop, 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 set it up really easy. So, um, so would I buy like a kit from you guys, or or what would that so, be? What I, I think we're going to start selling hard. Right now, the only hardware we sell is to farmers. Right. Oh, sorry, what was that? The only hardware we sell right now is to farmers. Okay. Because we... Partially, what we're doing is it's very difficult for us to, like... It's a lot of time to, like, sit there in a the basement and yep. solder things mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, put things in boxes and chip them. So, right now, we're, we're, we're trying to make the best use of our time and really, like, kind of cut our teeth working with yeah. people who have, like, a business stake in... Mm -hmm. growth, right? Because it, they're going to be more incentivized to make it succeed. Yeah. And, and, and so are we. Um, what you should do if you want to get involved, though, is sign up for the waitlist because then yeah. we're going to release the app that's publicly available, yeah. and then we'll start making the hardware available like through our website. And yeah, because because the thing is, um, I could get an I, garden. As well. Yeah, yeah, because I was planning on making my own garden because I, I have a solar panel system I'm building in our apartment. Oh wow! And uh, it's it, it, it's actually the solar panel system I ripped off of my my shed in Illinois, my my barn. But oh well, it was it was much easier to build solar panels on a barn. Um, but um, now that I'm in an apartment, I'm like, well, I still want to be growing stuff, and it'll probably be, uh, be a while until I get around like building the whole system myself. But if I were to get a system from you guys, I could start that YouTube series pretty uh, a lot earlier yeah, I mean, and be able to have help from you guys. Also open source if you don't okay, code, so you can go on GitHub. I'm a little bit bad with yeah. coding. I, I I know it's funny. I'm I have a hard I have a hard time with the abstract uh, the abstractness of it because yeah. I can do x86 assembly language, but I have a hard time with other stuff. It's 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 a little weird about that. It's so like you a are like a mechanical thinker. Yeah, you, you can't get mm -hmm. you, you can't do the the there's. 
that seat in the matrix. There is no spoon. Yeah. Like, there is no hardware. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, my issue is linking it up to whatever other people have made, like figuring out like oh, yeah. that. No, and, but with like assembly language, I have a list of like the raw commands, exactly. and so it, it's a little bit easier for me to figure out what to do oh, with that. I can do C programming, like an Arduino and so that, but it's like, oh man, it's like me. It's, it's like me with music. I hit that brick wall really soon. You ever hear the phrase "turtles all the way down"? Yep. Yeah, it's basically Green. like that. Yeah, you just, you just, you know, lots of different blocks of, mm. um, yeah, it's just lock, like you're working with a ton of black boxes all stuck uh -huh. together, essentially. That's what a modern operating system is. It bugs me so much. I, I used to work at Apple and the OS, yeah. it bugs me yeah. so much. Well, well, this is really cool. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for being on the yeah, channel. Thanks for your, uh, for your yeah. interest. Yeah.